Hola, ¿qué tal chicos de, de Web Inglés en Casa? Bienvenidos una vez más aquí a este curso completo de inglés desde cero. Eh, y en esta oportunidad al primer episodio de unos ejercicios de audio para entrenar el oído o ejercicios de listening en inglés. Este es el primer episodio, entonces les voy a explicar a ustedes cuál es la mecánica. En el transcurso de la semana, de la semana pasada, nosotros aprendimos estos verbos. Bind, bend, bet, begin y become. Si usted se los perdió, entonces haga clic arriba en ese ojito que ahí están los verbos para que vaya y los aprenda ahora mismo. Ahora bien, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Yo voy a hablar ahorita de, de un tema y en todo lo que yo hable voy a mencionar estos verbos. Su misión va a ser comentar, dejar aquí en los comentarios en qué minuto exactamente se escucha ese verbo. Y yo le comento si sí lo detectó o si no lo detectó. ¿Cuál es la idea de esto? Que usted entrene su oído, aprenda los verbos y por supuesto aprenda a hablar inglés. ¿Cómo aprende usted a hablar inglés desde cero? Bueno, acuérdense que ustedes descargan la aplicación en Google Play Store. En el primer comentario de este video les dejo el enlace para que la descarguen. Se llama The Web Inglés en Casa Tunja. Y, y ahí va a tener usted todo el curso completo de inglés con todo el material en orden desde cero, gratis, con grupos de WhatsApp, salas de chat, películas y muchísimo más. Así que sin nada más que decir chicos, vamos a entrenar nuestro oído. Abran bien esas orejas porque vamos a comenzar. Well guys, um, I like doing this kind of exercises because this is a perfect way to practice my English, to keep practicing my speaking skill, and of course because this is an opportunity for teaching you the the ability of listening. Okay. Well, I wanted to talk about uh, projects. For example, I, I'm the kind of person who likes to be entrepreneur. I am the kind of person who likes to be creative and I like to create uh, projects and I like to try doing things uh, because I don't like to be employee. But of course, I'm not saying that being an employee is bad, but what I'm saying is that it is much better when you work for the things you want. Yeah. So if you want to begin a project, you just have to be conscious of what you are gonna do, of what you want to do, and you have to be conscious that that thing that you are gonna do must be something uh, that is impassioned for you, yeah? That that make you be happy, that when you are doing or when you are creating that, that project, uh, you feel comfortable, you feel very, very well. So if you wanna begin a project, remember you have to like it. You need to like it. On the contrary, you are gonna be frustrated, and that is something that I personally, personally, I don't recommend it. I tell you that many years ago I was a police officer, and that is real, guys. I was a police officer, and everybody here in my country says, "Oh, wow, you are a police officer. You have a a, a secure a secure job." You have a, a, a your your future is safe because you are going to be a pensioner in the police. Yes, in some way it is correct. I could be a pensioner and I could work in that uh, organization, but the matter is that I didn't like it, and I really recommend you not to do what you don't like. So if you want to begin a project, remember it needs to be a project that you really like it. On the other hand. On the other hand, mm, when you begin that project, it is very possible that if you like it, you are gonna be successful. You are gonna you are gonna be successful, and you are gonna have a lot of money. But uh, uh, many people, or in that path, or in that road, yeah, in that road, uh, you are gonna live difficult situations. In that road, you are gonna be, or you you will have to work with perhaps with people who have a higher a higher position than you your boss for example and what i want to say here is that you need to be humble yeah but you don't need to bind in front of anybody else the only person or the only being that uh, who you can bind in front uh, is god yeah so my recommendation is 
do not bind in front of any other person because because you need to value yourself you need to to give your value yourself and and, and you need to know what you are okay and i re I, I repeat i say it again the only guy the only being who you can bind in front of is god because you know god for the reason i write here god loves you yeah uh, but anyway you need to be humble you don't need to be arrogant or you don't need to be or to take those, that kind of behavior because anyway when you are walking the path to success uh, you need to be humble you need to you, you don't need to bind uh, in front of others but you don't need to be arrogant you don't you don't need to be aggressive or something like that okay that is my another recommendation and when you get the success you want when you get the goal or when you achieve that goal that you want uh, you will have a lot of money and another recommendation is that don't bet your money in whatever thing i mean uh, many people when when people have a lot of money and when people achieve the goal and when and when people become successful uh, they say okay i have um, a lot of money so i am going to bet i'm going to go to a casino i'm going to travel a lot i'm going to travel to las vegas and i'm going to bet a car i'm going to bet my house no it is a bad practice it is something that you don't have to do yeah you don't have to do that that kind of things or perhaps you can bet but well here the expression is not bad the expression maybe you can invest your money yeah because bet is something related to hazard for example hazard games yeah in a casino for example in las vegas or something like that yeah so the idea is that you don't bet your money but invest your money be intelligent with your money when you are successful when you are rich when you get that goal and invest your money and in that way you will be able to multiply or to make your money bigger yeah so you will be much bigger okay so just remember this or remember what, I, what i'm telling you and uh, <laughs> That is exactly what I wanted to, to talk about, okay? Remember that this exercise is just, just for you to listen, to practice, to try to find these words. If you find the word, remember to leave a comment in the exact minute uh, where you listened to the word, okay? ¿Usted sabe qué significa eso de ahí? Haga clic ahora mismo. Haga clic y aprenda. Haga clic. Hágale. Bueno, entonces suscríbase aquí en este canalito que la campanita y nos vemos en el siguiente video. Muchas gracias por ver.